Okay, we're, uh, <clears throat> let's begin again. <laughs> Not a great uh, beginning there, but let's try, shall we try again? Okay, we are in the man cave and uh, working on that uh, gap issue I had with the quick shifter, the Aprilia quick shifter. And uh, there are two issues that uh, I have with it in the stock form. One is that the uh, toe position to shift up uh, is very much below what would be a, a relatively comfortable angle. With my motorcycle boots, I have a size 11, I have to almost take my foot off the peg, reach around and come under like that. Now this uh, toe peg here is the stock one and it's about the right size. There's a uh, three, sorry, four, a uh, four millimeter screw holding it in place. I don't know if this qualifies as a bolt or a screw. It's a pretty straightforward job to loosen it up. And then what happens with the stock position is this is actually on, a, on an eccentric, I'll call it. Do you see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but as I take this around, it uh, actually shortens the distance here. I'll uh, do a quick measurement of that for you. So I'm measuring it here, and this is an inexact measurement. <laughs> Can't get it down to the thousandth, but uh, when I'm measuring the position it was delivered to me in, I get about, uh, I'm going to call it uh, 12 and a half, if I try to stay consistent here, get about uh, 12 and a half uh, centimeters about 12 and a half centimeters. And I'm going to apologize, I'm not a centimeter person, I'm a pounds, foot, inches person. That's a long time to have to teach an old dog new tricks. But uh, as I mentioned, this is on an eccentric now. I'm gonna try and turn this around so that you can extend it some. Now I'm going to tighten it down here in the uh, extended position, not tighten it all the way. I'll cinch it up. There it is in the extended position. And I might get a centimeter out of this. Uh, well, perhaps a bit more. So let's uh, run it on back out using about the same measurement reference points I had before. And um, okay. Well, close, and uh, we get out to just 13, and it looks like uh, 13 and <laughs> 13 centimeters and five eighths of an inch, uh, 13.5 uh, centimeters. So we got a we got about a one and a half uh, centimeter. Uh, cent a meter extension there. So one and a half centimeters, uh, I'll do the math off camera because as I said, I'm an inches <laughs> and feet sort of person. But uh, one and a half uh, centimeter, cent a meter extension from here to here. Um, 12 and a half, I think, I think I had 12 and a half. So just just a bit more than a centimeter. So uh, I've got that much going on there. So I'm gonna tighten that down very quickly. And uh, we will at least have that little bit of improvement. Not bad. So uh, I believe you can see my foot in position here. So it's actually better. That, uh, uh, I guess the centimeter here, there is a benefit. <laughs> <laughs> depending upon uh, the critical measurement that you're trying to do. But it is, it is not bad. The uh, position is still a little strange because you still have to get that foot down quite a bit, especially if you're trying to hook your ankle, uh, sorry, your uh, heel bit on your motorcycle boot over that rear foot peg, which is where I normally put it. Occasionally I'll put it back here 
to turn or something. But if your heel is hooked over that, uh, you st I still will have to move a little bit, but uh, that's better. So uh, kudos to Aprilia. Once again, a little bit of adjustability in there. So um, keep talking while I get off the machine here. The uh, rear of this, I think, this uh, adjustment here, I think may be on a spline. Now, a spline being a multiple groove for this piece and that. So um, what I'm going to do is consult the manual and see if I can see a breakaway uh, drawing of that. And then if it is on a spline, I'm going to loosen it and see if I can actually bring it up without uh, offsetting my uh, critical distance here on the quick shifter and bring it up because it's, it's still down at a bit of an angle. And I'll show you the difference here, here from the, the left to the right. And again, this is the as delivered to me setup. Uh, so here's my foot angle on uh, this side. And um, now we're going to go over, I'm going to try and do this in one smooth take. Hold on, you're in good hands. I promise not to hurt you. Go around this way. And uh, again, hope you can see this. I think you can. Here. Here is the stock angle on the brake side. Again, uh, an eccentric here. Interestingly, this eccentric on this side is adjusted all the way out. So the mechanic or whoever did the assembly, whether, whether this was changed at uh, Grand Prix or if it's just as delivered, this eccentric is extended all the way. The other one was um, pulled in all the way, but uh, sitting on the machine, it's also a more level uh, footing foot is not bent down quite as much as it is on the other side. So uh, that eccentric is extended all the way out. So you get the maximum distance from the foot peg to the brake toe peg. So I'm going to check the manual and uh, see if that uh, quick shift anchor point is on a spline. And if it is, uh, or if I can find something online for it. There you are. Where have you been? <laughs> and if it is on a spline, I'm going to see if I can't um, pull that out and bring it up. Oh, a couple of uh, splines worth, I think. And if I can do that, if I can do that, I think that will address, um, certainly for the time being, my issue with it all. Okay, hope you enjoyed this little uh, technical uh, detour here and still learning about my brand new 2021 Aprilia Tuono. Uh, let me know if you've got any comments or uh, personal experience.